Hey guys, now this is Hamilton. Now, as weird as it is to make a, f a game about Alexander Hamilton, the American statesman and uh, the titular character of Lin-Manuel Miranda's uh, very famous musical, I've seen Stranger Horrors. It's been three weeks since my best friend disappeared. She went to Hamilton Forest with her boyfriend and nobody's heard from them since. The police say they performed a search of the area and found nothing. They said that further exploration was too dangerous and that the risk to the search party was too great. I can't imagine how you must feel, the officer had told me. His blank gaze failed to meet my eyes. But you can't go looking for them. When I woke up this morning, a mouldy page was lying on my living room floor. A set of coordinates written in what I immediately recognised as her handwriting. It's the dead of winter, but I don't care. I need to know what happened. I need to know what happened too. I need to find my friend... Alison Bunker. I have forgotten... Oh, hey, look at this. This looks like a backpack. I must be getting close. Did she just take that off? Are we not going to check what's inside her or anything? Could be something handy. Okay, so we've got a trusty flashlight, which means that this isn't the only place we're going to be going. We're going to be going somewhere much, much darker. Literally and figuratively, probably. But every time I play one of these games, I think, you know, it's really impressive how strong these friendships are. Because if it's the dead of winter, I'm not leaving my bed. My friend could have been missing for months. Warning, extreme hazard, no rescue beyond this point. Oh, to be fair, it doesn't really seem like the sort of place you'd get rescued anyway. Are these her boots? Why would she have taken them off in this cold? What might have been happening, right, is if she took off her backpack, she took off her boots. Often, you had this happening to climbers on Everest. In their delirium, they'd feel really, really hot in the cold. So they would just, like, strip and then be left dead uh, outside their tents and found that way. Yeah, I realise I haven't mentioned this, but I'm trying not to think about it. Because <laughs> whatever happened, it happened after she lost her boots. It could have been that something was dragging her along, right? I guess we really are in the middle of nowhere. No, nothing on the back. Okay, what's this? Her diary? Looks more or less intact. Maybe there's a clue inside. Can't just go around reading other people's diaries, dude. I got this really strange email today about this old place in Hamilton Forest. Apparently it's super haunted due to some crazy dark shit that happened there years ago. Not too sure if it's legit, so I'll bring Jake along just in case. Cops are always super strict about staying out in Hamilton, so who knows? It might be something cool. The next page is torn. Her handwriting's barely legible. Shaky and spaced unevenly like she was writing with her eyes closed. It's gonna be great. A really strange hunt haunted. Sure if it's legit, but might be something cool. Bring Jake, staying. That's strange. It's almost like she went a little bit crazy. Which, is that reductive? Yes, it is. Caution, too late. And it's got what looks like. Yeah, that looks like her. Hopefully, this is a really elaborate plank that she's playing on me. Oh, Alison. Classic Alison. Oh, what's this? The sound stopped. Doesn't seem like the sort of place I'd want to take shelter. No way, dude. Oh, no. This is so rusty. Oh, this is such an aesthetic. You know, from all of these games, the Penumbra games and Cold Side, You'd think you couldn't go like more than five meters in a cold place without running into like a secret lab or a secret underlying underground Silent Hill ass looking lair. What's that? Ah, oh, I can't abide this. The dude cannot abide. Okay. I really just like, if there's something down here, I kind of want to see it and get it over with. Because it's, uh, it's when you're on the edge. That it's really scary when you haven't seen anything yet, when you think there's something. Okay, well hopefully it is just haunted, because I think I heard a creaky door. It was either that or like a very old uh Wookiee screaming. Oh that bodes well. So I wonder what kind of dark stuff happened here. 
I wouldn't be too fussed if I didn't find out. Like, I want to know, but not that badly, right? It's almost impossible to completely restrict entry into the exclusion zone, simply because it covers too big of an area which borders multiple towns in the region. People wander in all the time and the amount of missing persons reflects that. Providing extensive warnings about some fake dangers has proven to be ineffective, given that you don't usually dissuade the foolhardy, urban explorers. It's hard to lie to families about why the police can't send search parties out to look f Dude, can I hear something? I feel like I can hear something. To look for their loved ones, it's harder to stop them from doing it themselves. Dude, that looks like a picture. But what's- Okay, I had a footstep and my footsteps don't make sounds. So it wasn't my footstep. Dude, I can hear it. I can hear something. But I don't know what it is. It reminds me of, um, you know how Pyramid, Pyramid Head just drags his huge knife? So I think it's going to be something like that, but hopefully a lot less phallic. Someone's... Allison? Whoever's down there. Good for you, I'm not going to do anything about it. <laughs> you can stay there, dude. You can stay there forever. Okay, well let's... I'm a little disorientated, but... It... What? Dude, did you see that? That looks wonky as hell. Upon entering the exclusion zone, individuals are immediately at risk, though evidence suggests that the chance of them being affected by the phenomenon is linked to their distance from what is currently thought to be the centermost point of the exclusion zone. We're getting closer. Satellite imagery shows that this area contains an as of yet unexplored cavern located within the eastern region of the Hamilton Forest. All attempts to reach the cavern have been met with failure. Well, you don't know if people reach the cavern, right? Oh, dude. Get a refund on this flashlight, dude. This thing is garbage. I definitely want my money back. I'd also just like to leave. So that seems like a pretty good reason to. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh my god. That is literally... That's a meat kebab. That is a person kebab. Oh, I hope I'm not on the menu. Am I gonna... Okay, I'm not gonna use that yet because I have a feeling he might just come up behind me and spear me. And not in a sensual way. Not that single. 0306, 1994. I'm giving this letter to you in confidence so I don't want to incite a panic, but this is urgent. The most recent occurrence has forced us to reevaluate the estimated outermost perimeter of the exclusion zone. Assuming as we have been in that zone is a perfect circle. Assuming as we have been that the zone is a perfect circle, our new data suggests that the Hamilton Forest Monitoring Station lies within the bounds of the exclusion zone. I'm forced to conclude that the only reason we have not yet been affected by the phenomena is that the station lies so close to the edge that the probability of an event occurring is extremely low. Please be reminded that I cannot provide any information that indicates what the chances exactly are as we still do not know the potential triggers and have not been able to find any meaningful patterns or indicators which would inform us of an intimate event aside from proximity. I'm proposing an immediate evacuation under the guise of the writing stops abruptly. There's an old Polaroid photo lying next to the letter. Um... Okay, this has atmosphere. And the gongs in the background? We are okay. Please send emergency assistance. So, my question is... When did they type that, right? Like, did they type it at all? Were they speared while typing it? I don't think so, because they weren't okay, right? Incoming communication. Please verify. Report. Massive internal event. Someone's disappeared during onset. Tracker reporting out of range. Please tell us everything you can. We had this massive power loss. Automated backup generator came up. But mass personnel have disappeared. A curry. Are you okay? Please respond. We are okay. Please send emergency assistance. We are okay. Please send emergency assistance. 
Please re-enter your verification code. Center HQ has activated HF admin workstation camera. We are okay. Please send emergency assistance. Center HQ is disconnected. What the hell? This is so scary. What the hell? This has no business being this scary. How have I not heard about this? Oh my god, look at that. Human dartboard. At this point, you know, this guy might as well have, like, human furniture. He's an head guy kind of person. No? That sounds like the grudge. That sounds like the grudge's older, more violent and beefy brother. This is the tunnel, dude. This is the tunnel. What did I do to deserve this? I'm just here to find my friend. You know, I think every three or four videos, I regret deciding to do horror let's plays because I am not a brave person. I'm just a man. Just a man, same as same as you. We all know there are no women here. Shout out to my MBs. Oh god, it's her. Nah, dude. No, 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 no. No way. I've got to go back out there. Got to face my fears. You want to go? Come on. I did like five years of Taekwondo. I think I can take you. Dude. Oh. Oh, thank God that wasn't that scary. It didn't take long for the authorities to figure out where you had gone. Mysterious clues, supposedly left by those who had perished in the exclusion zone, had led many to meet the same fate. Rescue attempts were pointless. The police would say you perished in a car accident while searching for your friends. Your body burned beyond recognition. Your story ends here. Wow, so that was hugely atmospheric. What I really liked about it is it does remind me of Silent Hill, not only in the scrapes and the sort of industrial sounds, but in the way that they build up the soundtrack with those industrial sounds, you know, culminating in that silence at the end and his grudge like, <laughs> so creepy. Wow. Well, I had a great time with this. I'm a little disappointed by the ending. A little bit. But this is the guy's first foray into horror and obviously great things to come. So thanks for watching. If you got this far, like, subscribe. If you feel like it, same stuff. Peace.